everyone, Amy Love here, and I just came on today to share with you this um, angel doily wall hanging I created, and I, of course, used a bunch of lovely bits from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy, and I will put the link to Kim's shop below so you can go over and um, get you some fun, yummy stuff to play with. So it's actually inspired by this sweet little image that I got from Shabby Art Boutique in her um, Christmas digital kit from last year. I just love her. So um, I started with a doily base and I got the doily from a mixed pack of doilies in Kim's shop. And then I printed the uh, cute little angel onto fabric and I had somebody ask me, you know, what I used to do that. And I just use these inkjet fabric sheets. I mean, I've been using them for years. They work fantastic. So that's what I print all my images onto fabric using these. I buy them on Amazon and you can find the link to my Amazon shop below if you want to get some. But you probably, you might be able to find them also at like a Staples or an Office Depot. I'm not sure. But I love them and they work great. So that's what I used to print her um, onto fabric. So then I cut out the image and then I used my sewing machine to uh, sew her down to the doily. And then I took the um, doily down to my bedside table where I like to spend the evenings sewing and that's what I did. I sewed her a little dress and I did sew, um, where is it? I sewed this on, which is from this trim from Angel Dream Crafts. This is all of this trim I have left. I love it. So I used that. So I started just having that down there uh, with the dress. And then I sewed on all these beautiful, lovely snippets from Kim's laces. But the only one that I have any of left to show you is the, I love these. These leaves are amazing. So those leaves are back here, making her wings much bigger. And then I use a snippet off of this lace, the last of it. I have no more. And a couple more snippets here and there of her beautiful laces. Then I sewed on um, crystal beads and pearl beads and buttons and one of my little metal heart charms from my stash. And so after I was done sewing on her, I left this space because I knew I wanted to put a balloon here. So when I got up here to my craft room, I got in my Angel Dream Crafts balloon box and this was there and it was perfect. So that's what I used to put there. I love it. But still, all I had was this one dangle and I was like, that's not going to cut it. It needs more. <laughs> It needs more. So if you include this dangle, I think I end up putting four dangles all together at the bottom. So when I got, got this piece to my craft room, I added this dangle, which came off of this lace from the shop. And I just added um, a little crystal to the bottom. And then I added the uh, basket weave that I love. I mean, she's got the dangle hookup over there. And I added some flatback pearls to that. And then behind all of that, I put the white tassel. Love. So then I felt uh, good about my dangle situation. <laughs> and then to this piece, I added one of Kim's beautiful pearl and rhinestone heart flatbacks. And then I had this little tiny flatback in my um, stash. And I added that too. Then I thought about what did I want to hang it? How did I want to hang it? And I had this, and I have had this for a while, and I should have checked the shop to see if there's even any more of this, and hopefully it will focus a little bit. But look how beautiful. It's a heart with wings already on this kilt pin. So it's like a beautiful, beautiful kilt pin. So I used seam binding to hang um, the doily while hanging from this beautiful kilt pin from Kim's shop. Then I added some um, beads right here. And so then all I had was the kilt pin and the, the seam binding, and I was like, no, needs more. <laughs> that was the theme of this project. Needs more. So I decided to uh, tie a bunch of this eyelash trim 
to the kilt pin and then I uh, dangled these beautiful leaf charm or leaf wing charms from Kim's shop on either side. I love them. They're big and they're beautiful. And then uh, for finishing touch, I added my favorite little pink and rhinestone charm from Kim's shop off to the side there. And then I finished off the back uh, just by adding another doily. So I like these to hang back here. But I love the way she turned out. She's just beautiful. <laughs> She's so pretty. And I actually created um, her for a friend's birthday. So I hope my friend loves it. And I did, of course, add some stickles. Well, because that's what I do. So I added some, had, needed more sparkle. <laughs> So I would love to know what you think. So please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And don't forget to check out the link to Kim's shop below. And I also leave a link to all the current designers. So you go check them out and see the amazing things they're making. So thanks for stopping by, everybody. And I will see you all on the next one.